Hello programmers, Dan McElroy here. I am teaching two courses Spring 2024. C, C++ Programming, CIS 54, Section 102, and Java Programming, CIS 84, Section 101. This presentation covers two drop dates for the classes I'm teaching this spring semester. As the instructor for the class, it is my responsibility to provide course material for the classes I teach, evaluate students' work by grading assignments, and keep track of students who are participating and drop those who are not. I am not trying to get anyone to drop the class by discussing these dates. I just want everyone to know how the system of college classes work. I am dedicated to support you in your journey to learn computer programming. Every class on campus has two important dates as far as dropping a class. You can drop near the beginning of a class and nothing will show up on your school records or transcript. The second date is near the end of the class. If you drop by that date, a W will show up on your records and transcript indicating that you signed up for a class and withdrew before the class was completed. After that second date has passed, you are not permitted to withdraw from the class and an instructor is required to give a grade based on your completed work. Drop dates are based on a percentage of the number of days the class is taught. A full semester class has 16 weeks of instruction with spring break in the middle. Spring 2024 full semester classes start on January 29 and end on May 24th. Both of my classes are late start classes. The Java class starts on February 12, and the CC++ class starts on April 1, April Fool's Day. Both of those classes end on May 24th. This presentation only covers the drop dates for the classes I am teaching. There are other late start classes on campus that may have different start dates and different number of weeks. If you have other late start classes, you need to get the drop dates for those classes from the instructors who teach those classes. If you need, you can drop the Java programming class by March 3 and nothing will show up on your transcript. If you drop by April 29, a W will show up on your transcript indicating that you signed up for the class and did not complete it. You are not able to drop the class after April 29. The C++ C++ programming class is shorter in length than the Java programming class and has different dates for dropping. If you need, you can drop the CIS 54102C C++ programming class by April 10 and nothing will show up on your transcript. If you drop by May 11, a W will show up on your transcript indicating that you signed up for the class and did not complete it. You are not able to drop the class after May 11. There is another late start section of CIS 54 C++ C++ programming this semester that has different start date and different dates for dropping the class. I realize that things come up in people's lives that sometimes a class needs to take a back seat to other priorities. If for any reason you are not able to continue the class, it is your responsibility to drop by one of the drop dates. Don't get a bad or terrible grade by just fading away. I'm required to submit a grade you personally earn through your submitted work. Once you have shown some commitment to the class by attending, participating in quizzes, labs, or homework, I assume that you wish to be in the class. An instructor may drop you if it appears that you are not participating and submitting regular coursework. Although I may drop you, it really is your responsibility to drop the class if you do not wish to continue. If you do not complete the course and do not officially drop through the admissions office and are not dropped by the instructor, you still receive a grade based on your completed work. Here is something else important. San Jose City College does not automatically give a refund if you drop a class at the beginning of the semester. You are the one who must apply for the refund before the date to drop with no W. Otherwise, you don't get any money back. It is my understanding that you need to drop by the first drop date to have a refund request approved. Another date is also important. Graduation petitions for spring 2024 are due in the Office of Admissions and Records by March 22, 2024. 
this date occurs even before the start of the CIS 54102C C++ programming class. Another date is June 5, 2024. Grades for the spring 2024 semester are available in self-service by that date. A note of caution. If you are receiving financial aid, veterans benefits, or are an international student, consult the appropriate office to determine any effect dropping a course will have on status both here and at other colleges and universities. Some financial aid programs want their money back if you start receiving aid and then drop a class. Other times, financial aid has been cut off for future semesters if you get aid and don't follow through with your education progress. If you are dropped in the middle of the semester, it is difficult and it is a lot of paperwork to get back in. A lot of people, all the way from the instructor, the dean, the vice president of academic affairs, and then the registration office all need to get involved. Sometimes it takes a week or more to get back in the class and you may be way behind by then. Make sure that you submit your work on a regular basis and maintain your regular participation to avoid being dropped by the instructor. The official SJCC statement on drops confirms what has already been said, but also provides some additional information. You are only permitted to sign up for a course and drop three times. If you have signed up for a class and dropped it three times, you won't be permitted to sign up for that class again. The form to request a refund is located on the SJCC website at sjcc.edu slash underscore resources slash pdf slash admission underscore and underscore record slash refund dot request dot form dot pdf. Watch out for the underscore and the period characters. I call them dots when part of a web address or file name. Since the refund request form is on a web server running Microsoft Windows, the capitalization does not matter. If you drop a class by the first drop date, remember to send in this form by that drop date. I've heard there's a term for withdrawing from a relationship without communicating. It's called ghosting. Sometimes people do it to avoid offending the other person. I won't be offended if you drop the course. When I don't hear from students who aren't participating, I need to guess on whether or not to drop them. Most of the time I guess correctly, but not always. One time I dropped a student and he came back the next class and said, you dropped me and they cut off my veterans benefits. I worked with the administration and was able to get him back in the class. It was rather traumatic for him. So the next semester I didn't drop a student and had to turn in an F for the grade. The student contacted me and said, why did I get an F? I dropped the class. I responded, you didn't drop, you just stopped showing up. Things like this used to bother me a lot. They still bother me some, but I've gotten used to it. If something happens and you are not able to complete the course, please, please either log in to admissions and record system before the last drop date and drop yourself, or let me know and I can drop you from the class. I just can't drop a student after the last drop date has passed. Leading someone on means that you are allowing the person to believe something that is not true. This could be a boss allowing an employee to think that there's a raise or promotion in the future when there isn't one. It can happen in romantic relationships or even with students and teachers. There have been times I've sent emails to students. You are about to be dropped. I get a response. Please don't drop me. I will start submitting assignments this weekend and then nothing happens. Not that weekend, the next week, or the week after. Maybe the person is procrastinating or just having a hard time dealing with the class, or there is a family emergency that should be resolved soon. Maybe the person is receiving financial aid and they don't want to lose it. I hate playing the guessing game with people's grades and future, but after a while, if there's no contact, I may need to submit a drop or a D or an F. 
What I am really asking is that you help yourself out and help me out if you need to drop my class or any other class on a happier note. I really do look forward to having you in the class. See you in the next video. Dan Dolph, signing off for now.